Buddha said that one of the duties of a teacher is to provide protection to the student in all directions. And of course, this doesn't mean the teacher goes out with a sword and shield to fight off enemies. What it means is the teacher gives knowledge to the student with which the student can protect him or herself. And the main protection that the Buddha offered, as he said, was the establishing of mindfulness. Three months before he passed away, he called the, the monks together and reminded them that if they wanted a refuge, they had to make themselves a refuge, and if they wanted to make themselves a refuge, they had to make the Dharma the refuge. And how did they do that? By practicing the establishings of mindfulness, keep grounded in the body, focused on the body in and of itself, and they are ardent, alert, and mindful in putting aside greed and distress with reference to the world. What this means is that you have a strong sense of what should and shouldn't be done. This was his criticism one time of other teachers who taught that everything you experienced was the result of past karma or the result of some creator, be creator deity creating the world in such a way, or that it was totally random. If you believe those things, then there wouldn't be much impetus to try to act skillfully in the present moment. As he said, you'd be left bewildered. But if you have a strong sense that there are things that should be done or things that shouldn't be, should not be done, you recognize where the sources of those things are they're in the mind. You keep a close watch on your mind. That's why you want to keep it with a breath, so you keep the mind in the present moment where you can keep tabs on it. And then notice, if something unskillful is coming up in the mind, you let it go as fast as you can. If something skillful comes up in the mind, a skillful intention, try to maintain that, try to nurture it. In other words, you protect yourself by looking after your mind with a strong sense that the choices you make really do make a difference now and into the future. If you hold on to that principle, then you are safe wherever you go, and that's the protection that you carry with you. But it does require that you be mindful, that you keep things in mind. If you learn things but then forget them, they don't do you much good. It's when you remember them and re see how they can be applied right now, right now, right now. That's when the things you've learned can provide protection. And the protection is valid whichever direction you go, north, south, east, west, up, down. The basic principles of what's skillful and what's not skillful are the same everywhere. So keep this point in mind, and it will, will provide protection wherever you go.